Hello, everybody. Um, my name is uh, Corinne Herbers. I work for the city of Mechelen um, on diversity and integration. I'm very pleased to be here today uh, virtually on this conference. Um, and I was asked to give a brief um, introduction to our um, integration and diversity policy. So um, as an introduction, I have to go back in time. Um, actually, 15 years ago, more or less, Mechelen had a very bad uh, reputation. Uh, polarization was high and over 30% of the people voted extreme right. Uh, we had one of the highest criminality rates at that time. Um, and middle class families fled um, and deprivation was, was high. Um, Mechelen now, uh, nowadays, um, okay, yeah. Um, Mechelen is considered as one of the reference points uh, cities in Flanders. Uh, the appreciation for the integration policy is one of the highest in the country. The overall culture has changed and there is a growing openness towards each other. Um, so yeah, next slide please. Um, so how, uh, how that comes, it's, it's actually uh, the results of a long-term strategy and policy. And if um, when, when um, in Flanders um, they speak of our integration and diversity um, strategy, they speak of the Mechelen model and what is it? Um, actually the model combines a strict uh, security policy and law enforcement strategy with the embracing of diversity as a richness. And very importantly, uh, a positive narrative about all minorities. Everybody is from Mechelen. We are all diverse. There is no us versus them narrative. And this concept creates connection between all the citizens of uh, Mechelen. We see it, the, the effects uh, or the impact of this policy. Um, we can see it in the um, results of people um, of the, the proudness to be Mechelen. Uh, if you look at the numbers, uh, the percentage in 2008, it was 64%. In 2017, we had 81% um, of the citizens who said to be proud to be a Mechelaar. So we see a big um, positive uh, change. If we zoom in uh, to uh, an inclusive uh, city and um, towards diversity and integration, I want to give some facts and uh, figures. Um, Yes, just to give an idea on how diverse or super diverse uh, Mechelen is, 32% uh, of the citizens of Mechelen have um, a, a mig uh, migrant backgrounds. Um, people um, from Mechelen come from 129 different countries of origin and together we speak um, 69 languages. If we look also at age, um, we see that more than uh, Fifty percent of the children younger than twelve years have um, uh, a migration background, um, so that's um, a very young, uh, diverse population. It also has an impact on our education and the, the schools, um, which I will tell something more later. Um, we have a um, we started in two thousand and twelve also a very nice project. Um, it's called Sam Imbrihe. Uh, it's to integrate uh, together. Um, and since the start of this project, um, 355 people or, or pairs participated. It's a buddy project where we match a coach and uh, a newcomer um, uh, and they uh, do activities uh, together. Um, and uh, if we look at the numbers of newcomers who achieved um, a certificate of civic integration, so if people arrive here um, in Mechelen, in, Bel in, in, in Flanders, they should follow a Dutch lessons, civic integration course. They have a personal guide uh, where they can, um, um, yeah, can go to when they have spe specific questions regarding work or education. Um, if we look at these numbers, uh, we see that 227 newcomers achieved uh, the certificates um, in 2019 in Mechelen. So just to give an idea on how uh, diverse um, Mechelen is. Then if you look at the, the, the strategic position <clears throat> of the topic, the topic of diversity, uh, next slide please, Eva. Um, then we see that until 2012, um, <clears throat> we had a specific service with a team working on diversity topics, but with a very categorical approach. And we were one of the many services of our organization. We worked from the, the, the Department of Living Together under the sub-department Wellbeing, and there we were one of the 10 services residing under this sub-department. Um, in 2012, we organized a survey of the population in Mechelen on five topics, including also inclusive cities, so diversity, 
Um, and also, um, <clears throat> these five topics were pointed out as very important for the population. So the city council decided uh, to pinpoint them as organization objectives, as transversal, <clears throat> as a transversal team. So also um, <clears throat> the topic of diversity. Um, what does it mean? It means that, it's, that this topic should be embedded in all policy sectors, city services, external services, organizations and institutions. And this meant a radical change in the organization. So diversity now is embedded in a strategic cell um, that's called um, the um, Department of Strategy and Development. Um, the vision, uh, in fact, um, this is a vision that we um, uh, we, we realized in 2007-2008 um, and in a nutshell uh, what we want to strive to uh, what we want to achieve is to be an inclusive society where differences are recognized allowed and respected although not unlimited we postulate basic values and regulation which are not negotiable and Mechelen experiences this variety as precious so we want to search from the richness of difference what people actually connect um, and really focus on what people have in common instead of focusing on the differences. And this vision, <clears throat> um, we uh, are a nice example of how we, um, we how we translated this vision into an, a positive narrative is a campaign people make um, the city. It's a campaign we started in 2014. Um, and what we did was we, we put a really big banner uh, with 128 different pictures of 128 uh, Mechelaars, uh, really in the city center. Um, and it symbolized the diversity or the super diversity um, that is um, present in, in Mechelen. So this was really a statement from, um, from the city. Um, and it was really a, a, yeah, just a translation of our uh, vision. About the strategy, uh, so the last legislation, <clears throat> we, um, we focused on three uh, specific programs, uh, being accessibility, language promotion, and social cohesion. We organized a lot of projects and activities that resided under these uh, programs. Um, and it, it's in fact um, <clears throat> the, the, yeah, the, the program manager who coordinates all these uh, different uh, programs, projects, and activities. So this was the focus, let's say, the last legislation. Now we have um, a new um, board in Mechelen um, who focuses on two um, specific programs, being the program um, Inclusive and Active Citizenship and the program Equal Opportunities and Anti-Discrimination. Uh, um, so this is, <clears throat> we are still organized um, so we do, uh, we work with program management, so we have these, three, these two programs. We have a steering committee um, that's called Diversity and Equal uh, Opportunities. Um, and it's the steering committee, it's, it's actually the structure, the place where there is also political representation, but where we um, make decisions, where we discuss about uh, difficulties, about challenges and so on, where we really, um, um, yeah, puts in action our uh, strategy. So maybe next next slide. And this, this is how it's now. Um, and maybe next slide, it's the priorities, just to zoom in. Um, it's, uh, yeah, first, first of all, education. Yeah? So we want to increase qualified outflows. We want to realize a healthy social mix in schools and to increase the well-being of children um, and uh, young people. So to invest in a sense of belonging. There we have, um, we, we started an intensive dialogue between education professionals, a reference group uh, specifically uh, from the Moroccan um, community in Mechelen and the city administration. We did a really intensive dialogue and the result was an action plan on education and diversity, which resulted in different projects. And one of these projects was uh, is a project School Insights, where the aim is really to increase social mix in schools. We have in Mechla, it's not only um, a phenomenon in Mechla, but in Flanders, in different cities and municipalities, we have white and black schools. Uh, and this project really wants to uh, break through and make these um, white schools more colored, let's say, yeah? to have more of this social mix. Work and labor markets, um, there, yeah, we want to um, see that more short skilled um, uh, Mechelaars find suitable work that matches their skills and interests and that the labor market, of course, is accessible for everybody. 
There we have a specific project that's called Open Hiring. It's an experiment, it's a pilot, um, where we um, um, really um, put away the thresholds towards um, a job, where the selection procedure is really, really simple. You just show up, you put your name on a list, and you have to um, apply for three criteria. So it's really simple, it's really uh, easy, um, and it's uh, an experiment. Another um, priority is leisure organizations uh, should be open op uh, operations, should be open organizations, so more vulnerable young people participate to these organizations. Um, <clears throat> diversity in the cultural sector and cultural canon. There we have a project, um, Youth Movements for Everybody. We see that youth movements um, are organizations where mostly the white middle class um, public goes to, and there we also invested a lot in house visits and, and working with bridge figures and so on to really uh, try to guide uh, other also vulnerable youngsters towards these um, organizations. And then housing, every Mechela should feel at home, uh, welcome and safe in Mechela and in his or her neighborhood. And every Mechela has equal access to the rental housing market. So what we did last year was we did we organized practical tests on the private rental market to really um, do a research on how um, equally accessible is the, the, the private rental market, also for people with a migrant background or for single mothers, for example. Um, and so with the results, we also um, uh, put up an action plan and we are now in the process of enrolling and putting uh, these actions into um, yeah, results. Um, and in addition, we invest further in uh, an inter internal language and diversity policy. So we do, we do a lot of internal um, diversity trajectories with different departments. Uh, positive image, so we work with role models. Uh, our communication should, should also be inclusive. So these are all um, things we um, invest in. We have a, a really nice uh, project, project storytelling, People Make the City. It's a project we work further on. Uh, we work out further on the seeds we, we planted in 2014, so from 2018 until 2020. Um, we collected different personal stories of uh, Mechelaars with a migrant background. Um, and these stories are all uh, connected with uh, different places in Mechela. And just to show also to the Mechela that um, even if you live already for generations in Mechela or you just arrived here, everybody has specific story, has a specific memory, has a specific anecdote with the city as a place that we all use, public domain we all use. And uh, one uh, specific output of this project is that in next week um, we, we, put an, uh, we put really big pictures in the public domain of all these different um, Mechelaars with their personal story that you can see them on um, or can search for it on a platform. Uh, of course, yeah, meeting and dialogue. Um, so that's also very important, social cohesion, um, to uh, facilitate small encounters between um, people. So there we have the project to integrate uh, together. Um, yeah, it's the next, the next slide. Uh, and then building a strong and sustainable diversity network, yeah, partnerships and cooperation uh, in the field with associations, intermediaries, experienced experts at the local Flemish, national, European and international level. We are a network organization. We don't do actions and projects on our own. So we do it a lot in cooperation with different uh, actors. Just uh, in a nutshell, the strategy, the next slide. Uh, so we have the steering committee. Uh, we work with a methodology of program uh, management and it's a company-wide goal diversity. Uh, and the, the, the action plan uh, or the, the actions really, we can put them in three category, categories. We have projects and activities that um, are really focusing on mainstreaming. So maybe may more on the mindset and the professional um, attitude of the coworkers or of the, the organization. We have projects within a specific policy domain, we call them simple projects. And then we have transfers of projects that are more complex that touch different domains, different authorities, um, and that are more um, complex projects. What makes a difference um, um, in our strategy and policy? I think first of all, yeah, um, yeah, you can show them all its different puzzles, but the, the, in the center there is a safeguard of vision. Eh? Um, I already said we, we had this vision from 2007, 2008. A lot of things happened in the world, super locally, but also locally. And the, the, the board always states, and the city, the organization always stayed very loyal to this vision. So that's really important. 
there should be a room for experiment and that's why we also um, um, apply for a lot of fundings to have this, this financial room to experiment. You should have an open mind um, to look really critical towards traditions, towards services, um, towards um, yeah, the way you, you organize yourself uh, and to be open to change this. So um, this open mind is really important. Professional support, we have a lot of expertise inside our own organization, but I said a network organization. We, we are not afraid to admit that we don't have the expertise and then we just work together with external partners. And continuity, it's not that we do like ad hoc projects, just one shots, uh, one shot activities. We always make the reflex um, on thinking how can we um, embed structurally the results of these specific projects. Um, yes, what makes a difference um, is the next slide to be complete. Yeah, of course, support, commitment, the mandate you get from the politicians and the management team. Uh, so the management team is like the top of the, the administration, all the, the, the head of departments and so on. It's really important that they um, support it uh, and put it high on the agenda. Uh, then customization and attention to processes. Uh, communication, make results visible internally and externally. It's really important. Sometimes we do, in, we do a lot of invisible work, yeah, processes, but just try to make the, also these invisible processes visible. Uh, Follow-up, monitoring, evaluation, measuring results and impacts. It's also a challenge for, for Mechelen, uh, but we should really um, have uh, attention to that. Uh, a clear and complementary division of roles. So we have the strategic level, but also the operational level, and it should be really working uh, really nice together. And the communication between all these levels is really uh, important also. And then the internal organization, the strategic position in the organization chart with a direct link to the management team. So the strategic cell where the diversity topic is embedded. Yeah, it really works um, above all the departments. It's really a strategic um, position. Yes, inclusive city, but mainly, of course, um, in the next slide, yeah, people make the city. It's, uh, I'd say it's not something we do alone as a city. Uh, we do it um, in cooperation with a lot of people, but also with the citizens of, um, of Mechelen, the diverse citizens. And if we look at the results um, of all these, uh, this, uh, of this policy and this strategy, uh, we have a survey that monitors a little bit or gives a little bit to the, 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 the impact. Um, and it's, um, you see the, the positive, um, yeah, the positive flow uh, of the positive evolution. There is still a lot of work, but we see that it has a positive impact, uh, all the, the things we do. So that was it. Um, that was my brief introduction. Uh, thank you very much.